idea of diet and exercise, almost everybody has it wrong. Mm -hmm. People start with the diet. And I, I maintain that if you start with the exercise, if you start with exercise, your diet will change. I think anybody who does exercise realizes they're thirsty afterwards. They crave a banana, not a banana split. So the single independent risk factor for obesity in children isn't overeating. It isn't what they eat. The single independent risk factor for obesity is inactivity. Change that first. Parents have a tough job, especially in the preteens and teens, uh, because they're starting to develop their own mindset. But guess what? You as a parent still call the shots. You're still in control. You still make the decisions. They live in your house. So be the person that gives tough love. Make them do something. And if you make them go out and do something, well, you might just make them get in the car and come here for the first time. But after they're here, they'll be drawn. The parents have to get their kids here, number one. They're responsible for signing their kid up just like they're responsible for signing their kid up to Little League baseball or soccer or whatever. And we have lots of parents spending phenomenal amounts of time and money going into sports and kids get injured. And the sports don't allow some of these kids to actually glow because they may not be the very best one. Here in this gym, that child is the best one. There's a mass of children that are just overweight and without anything to do. And Train Up was designed for those kids that are overweight, don't have anything to do, or are getting overweight and still have nothing to do and no place to go. There's probably a good 60 to 70 percent of most children that don't have an organized physical activity. and This is a place for them. There's all kinds of reasons that people send patients to me, but I get referrals from all numbers of pediatricians and family practice doctors with kids that have numerous complaints, some just because they're overweight. And when they get to me and I evaluate them, a lot of times they're normal, all of their studies are normal, and I say, well, your heart's fine now, but you need to go lose weight and get in shape. And with that, that's pretty much the end of it. And that's what most pediatricians will do too. And I'm a pediatrician, I do the same thing. You need to go out and lose weight and get in shape, but how are they gonna do that? When I tell them that there is a solution for their overweight problem, they can't believe it. They're astounded and it's almost as if you've turned on the lights or you've put a pair of glasses on them for the first time or there is color in the movie for the first time. So this is my way of reaching to them, presenting activity to them in a subliminal way. They are finding out that they can exercise, but it's fun. So I bring them in with the video games and the high intensity audio visual stuff that's going on here, the excitement, the, the flair, the absence of mirrors, all of the things in a complete package I think puts it in a place where kids don't feel intimidated. I didn't want a bunch of people in here with big muscles and, and um, cut off shirts and shorts and things like that. This is a place for activity, a place for fun. It is a safe place and that's the way we want to keep it. I think it's safe because the, the, um, it's in a great location right now, wherever it might be in the future. I think that has to be a really important part of it. The community knows we're here, the community is supporting us. Um, the parents love it. The parents love the idea that they feel comfortable dropping their children off at the front door, coming back in two hours. The kids are sweating and smiling, and a lot of times the parents have to get out of the car to get them, to pull them away. I thought about workout, and I'm going, hmm, that's not right. Working out is not good. There's two negatively connoting things, and no one really knows what working out is. We know what it represents. It's sweat and toil and pain. It's work and it's out. Well, train up is different. Train up is what we're doing. Training is a regular based activity. Training. Training is never haphazard. Training is regular. Up is different than out. Up is uplifting. Up is increasing. Up is bringing to a better place. 
So I think up is all about where we want to be. Train up, train up. And I started saying it to myself, man, that even sounds good. It's easier to say train up than it is work out. Yeah. You kind of get a downer when you say work out, but train up, it always leaves you with something more. And I think that's what we're going to do here. On the other basis, train up comes from Proverbs 22.6. Train up a child in the way they should go, and when they're old, they shall not depart from it. In my pediatric practice, I think there's a lot of biblical knowledge that we use to present to parents about the way they should raise their children. It's a great children's book, all right, about how to raise children. Well, let's train up these children knowing that exercise is useful, knowing that exercise is wonderful, knowing that exercise is fun, knowing that exercise is a regular part of their day. So if we can train them up with that attitude, not only will they hopefully learn that they can do this for the rest of their lives, but maybe their parents will even get interested in doing the same thing. I hope it gets through the country, all the way through. I want it to go as, as big as possible. Not for me, but for the kids. You know, I've already sacrificed. I've already given what I needed to give to get started. And if I can affect the life of even one child, that's what it means to me. But why can't it spread? Why can't it be where we really need to be? When I developed the business plan for Train Up, I told the gentleman that charged me a lot of money to help me write the business plan that I really wanted to change health care in the country. He says, that's, that's too big. We're going to have to tone it down a little bit. Well, it still exists, my passion. We can change healthcare here. We are changing healthcare here. We are giving kids an ability to create a change in their bodies if they need it or don't need it, but they're gonna change an activity level where they can go beyond and not get into that situation where 33% of all Americans are overweight or obese and the biggest diseases that we have, cancer and heart disease, are related to obesity. And if we can change that by simply changing our child's activity patterns when they are young, which is when we know we can catch them, they're young, we can change their activity patterns, then they will continue that. They won't get obese, 